Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Capricorn, let's see what's um, upcoming for you for the 18th to the 24th of March. First, of course, I'm going to be taking a major arcana to see what's the most significant energy that's going to be surrounding you uh, this week. And the major arcana for you is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, things are going to be moving very, very positive, positive for you, good direction, and this is the universe doing it for you. I mean, the only difference between minor arcanas and major arcanas, uh, Capricorn, is that with minor arcanas, it's a suggestion. After that, you do have free will, you can do this or you can do that. But with major arcanas, it's like destiny. It's like what the universe is bringing for you. Yes, you can deal with it, you can accept it, you can you know bide your time with it but you can't really change things and that energy is i think the most significant energy which is for you very lucky this week a couple of upcoming week i would say it's the wheel of fortune which is in the upright and in your favor wow all right so now let's try and figure out why where is this wheel of fortune taking my capricorn gang all right so spirit tell me uh, week ahead Monday to Sunday that's 18th to the 24th of March for my Capricorn gang all right so and also I needed a little favor from you uh, Capricorn a little suggestion uh, I was just thinking as it been now that we've started doing these and I've been doing these for a couple of months uh, this is a general week ahead right uh, what if we make it totally specific to money finance and career instead because in this, like I said, wheel of fortune, one doesn't know whether this is in a relationship or is it with money, is it with health, is it with friendships. If we make it a little more, you know, to the point, then we can be more helped, I guess. I don't know. You tell me. Otherwise, I'm okay with doing them the way they are. It was just a thought if you feel. Because we have enough money, I mean, love readings on the channel. I just thought money could be a good, you know, focus as well. Let me know. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to continue them the way they are. All right. So, Monday, Spirit for Capricorn. That's Three of Cups. Oh, nice, happy day. Ace of Swords for Tuesday. Wednesday is the Four of Cups. But we immediately move into the star energy on Thursday. Friday, Queen of Wands. All right. You're rocking it. Uh, Saturday, the Three of Wands and Sunday, the Page of Wands. You're in a very good place, Capricorn. Congratulations. You have achieved a lot by yourself and this week you're going to feel even better and better because you'll be growing your money on trees, it seems. You'll be healthy, you'll feel good, maybe you have a nice home, you feel um, absolutely stable in your life and you can give yourself a pat on the back because I think this is an accomplishment that you have achieved by yourself is going to make you feel very good nine of pentacles is like almost pre empress kind of energy who's worked hard but achieved everything by their hard work or their own you know efforts okay so let's see let's start you'll be enjoying you'll be enjoying this um, stability or independence or freedom that you feel which comes with all this stability this week so spirit tell me what's going to happen on monday what's the three of cups energy three of cups three of oh my god three of cups is clarified by the three of cups this is happiness this is celebration this is meeting up with friends uh, going out and enjoying life or partying or you know maybe you have some i don't know monday you guys are partying that i don't know what's going to happen but uh, something has changed Maybe you have to be, maybe some major changes have come into your life where on Monday you will be calling up your friends and saying, hey, guess what, this happened or that happened and your friends are going to be really happy for you. Yeah, some major wish of yours is coming true uh, this week and right on Monday. I mean, come on, this is some news I think that you're going to be getting on Monday, which is going to be sudden. It will be unexpected. It's um, something that's going to make you very happy. It's a big wish and you will be celebrating it Monday or uh, not Monday. The, you are not going to care. It's like, I don't care. I have to celebrate this victory of mine. All right. So Tuesday, what happens on Tuesday? Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords? 
Ace of Swords. Uh, I have a feeling it's money related. This, whatever this change that's coming into your life, um, Capricorn, it, it promises to give you more than you had. It's like you're suddenly realizing that, yes, if whatever this offer is or whatever this news is, it's going to put you in a financially very stable place. But, but you may have to cut away something from the past and there's a choice that you have to make. I don't know what this choice is, but it's going to give you a little bit of anxiety. You'd probably overthink it. You, you know, you're going to be very analytical. You know that you have to maybe talk to somebody about it or, you know, discuss some issues. I do see you a little confused. I do see you a little confused because the uh, maybe there's more than one offer. I don't know. I don't know. There could be more than one offer. I have the three of cups here twice. So yes, you, you could have options and you may have to make a choice to choose something to which is of your highest good. Right. So I think by uh, Wednesday also, yeah, I mean, you're going to take some time out and say, you know what, I'm going to take some time. I don't know whether I want to accept this offer or that offer. Give me some time. I'm going to take my time. I'm not, I'm not going to just walk away from something into the unknown without any clarification. I need more uh, information, let's say, or I need to see the paperwork or it's like you're going to play a little hard to get. I'll be honest, Capricorn. It's yes, I, I know I have to walk away from something but that is leading to a little bit of sadness as well and you don't want to rush into something which may not even work out like you're trying to use your analytical brain uh, but uh, finally you do make make up your mind finally you do make up your mind and once you make up your mind you're going, going to be in the nine of cups energy you know somewhere deep down you know that whatever you're going to choose is going to make not just one but many of your wishes come true once you make up your mind uh, Capricorn on Thursday I do see you in your star energy where you feel yes my finally my major wish of mine came true you'll be thanking the universe look at this person looking up at the heavens with uh, hands folded and looking at that star and saying thank you thank you thank you i wished upon you and you made one of my dreams come true or maybe many dreams come true so tell me about the star card on thursday on thursday okay one more one more okay but it will be a day um, it will be a day where yes you will be in gratitude you'll be happy that your things are going in your favor that wish of yours has come true but you may even take thursday off just for yourself yeah i think you will be in hermit mode <laughs> i was thinking of that and the hermit card came out it's like uh, not in a bad way it's not like you're, it's going to be like oh i'm lonely and sad no this is like i need to take the day off i need to be in a little bit of self-care i need to rest up i need to maybe you know get my act together or do my facial or go to the parlor or something uh, this is like i'm i'm and this is going to be a, a day of not just self-care self-love healing uh, also a lot of gratitude and uh, just being because you know something very exciting is going to come up which I see here on Friday here you are all dressed up and ready to rock and roll Capricorn you will be shining your confidence is back you're looking good you're feeling good you'll probably turn a lot of heads uh, wherever you go because now the aces have arrived Here's the, here's the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, Ace of Pentacles is that like large pentacle, which is like they say, you know, when once you're offered that from the universe, you're only going towards the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, you are. The Ace of Pentacles is a solid brand new beginning, which you can touch, feel, see. It's normally financial. Uh, most of the times it's like an offer, which is legitimate it is 3d you can feel it you can see it you can enjoy it and you will be enjoying it to the fullest it's like i see capricorn um, being like almost a leader and being appreciated feeling very stable king of pentacles energy with the queen of wands energy which is like confidence coming from a place of a lot of financial success and stability and feeling good and grounded yes money is no problem to you at all 
okay so what happens on saturday then spirit what's the three of wands what's the three of wands and here comes the second ace <laughs> capricorn here comes the second ace ace of cups your ships have come in you realizing that now whatever you were waiting for whatever you have worked hard for which maybe you saw very little uh, growth or little you know to show for whatever your hard work was and you were patiently waiting for your ships to come in finally now you see those ships have come in and it's starting you off on a brand new chapter of your life ace of uh, pentacles and the ace of cups is like finances are good emotional well being is there i my ships have come in and they are in with a lot of treasures for for you a lot of treasures okay so what about sunday then spirit what happens on sunday what's this page of wands what's this page of wands okay one more page of wands nine of pentacles again or oh, did you have the nine of pentacles earlier i don't remember it looked now you had the nine of cups i think okay so nine of pentacles okay. okay it was here it was your overall energy all right so you will this is your overall energy and on sunday you have the same card so you're ending the week feeling yes i am now ready for a brand new journey of my life omkara taro i have waited for this i have been patient for this yes i was a little doubtful that it will happen i did doubt it once in a while but uh, and here comes the third ace here comes the third ace what is happening capricorn to your reading come on uh, you are leaving all your troubles behind and you will be moving on with the three aces on the table which is the one which was missing ah uh, the ace of swords okay but ace of wands i mean these are the my three favorites are these ace of wands is like excitement passion let's move forward i'm you know i'm i'm excited about the future ace of pentacles is money stability and ace of cups is love emotions feeling good about yourself okay anything else that taurus needs to know for sunday or overall spirit here comes the oh my god here comes the fourth ace I'm squeaking now, Capricorn. It's almost like spirit is doing the shuffling instead of me. I just mentioned the three aces, and I said the only one which is not out is the Ace of Swords. Let me see it again. Yes, it is the Ace of Swords. Four aces on the table for you, Capricorn. My God, is the wheel turning in your favor, and how? It is a brand new beginning for you in your life. I've got goosebumps. Okay, spirit, give me an affirmation for Capricorn, which they must repeat to themselves so that they get all these four aces this week. Ah, uh, okay, my angel, spirit guides, I'm shaking. Okay, give me an affirmation for Capricorn, please, for this. Not two, please, just one. One affirmation, spirit, that Capricorn should repeat to themselves so they. gladly accept these all these four beautiful aces and that nine of pentacles safe secure abundant energy joy good i love this card i find joy in everything of course you would capricorn i would too if i had four aces the wheel of fortune in my favor and i was in the nine of pentacles which i am actually uh, i should not complain but uh, yes joy joy springs from a sense of connection to the divine and is a quality which illuminates you your angel guidance is to cultivate this quality by seeking the divine in every situation look beyond the surface and seek the light at the heart of each person then you will become aware of the wonder of creation and joy will ignite your life delight in everything for the jo joy is the key to enlightenment enjoy life i think that's exactly where you're starting out on the week i mean on monday itself i was asking where where is capricorn going partying i mean it's a monday get get to work but no spirit says the lighter you keep your energy and your emotions the faster these new aces are going to come into your life 
go for it there is a sudden change coming into your life and it's going to make a major major wish of yours come true it they will have reasons to celebrate four aces my god congratulations capricorn that's all i can say have a wonderful week ahead love and light take care namaste